deals for the homeless. Really? The corporations take 90% of the profits, and using loopholes they wrote, they'd take even more. The corporations own promotional costs like free bets, taken from the homeless funds. And they'd get a refund on their $100 million license fee, taken from homeless funds too. These guys didn't write a plan for the homeless. They wrote it for themselves. If you liked Wii Sports, you're gonna love Nintendo's latest Switch game. Bowling and tennis are back, along with new sports to play in TechSmart. Wednesday at 5 a.m. Now at noon, developing news from our nation's capital where protests have erupted following a leaked document indicating the Supreme Court could overturn Roe v. Wade. Thank you for joining us for the KTLA 5 News at Noon. I'm Glenn Walker. And down Mary Beth McDade in this afternoon for Lou Parker. The Chief Supreme Court Justice is calling for an investigation into the unprecedented leak. Meantime, President Biden says the potential abortion rights reversal is a threat to other basic rights, including marriage. KTLA 5's Kareen Winter is live in our news center with the latest developments. Kareen? Glenn, those protests continue this afternoon in Washington. Chief Justice John Roberts, he confirmed that document that was leaked is in fact a real draft and he also called this release an egregious breach of trust. He's pushing for a full investigation and asked the marshal of the court to launch those steps. Anger and frustration mounted outside the steps of the U.S. Supreme Court following a blockbuster report published by Politico that set off a political firestorm. News that a Supreme Court draft opinion would overturn Roe v. Wade, which about 50 years ago legalized abortion nationwide. Chief Justice John Roberts confirmed this morning the leaked document is authentic, but said it does not represent an official decision by the court or the final position of any justice. I hope there are not enough votes for it. President Biden said overturning this landmark decision from 1973 would threaten a whole range of rights. It goes far beyond the concern of whether or not there is the right to choose. Goes to other basic rights, the right to marry, the right to determine a whole range of things. This is a dark and disturbing morning for America. The Supreme Court is poised to inflict the greatest restriction of rights in the past 50 years, not just on women, but on all Americans. Overturning this case would clear the way for individual states to decide whether abortion would be legal. Women would still have the right to decide in states like California and New York, but the procedure could be banned in nearly half of the country, places like the Midwest and the South. Republicans like Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell blasted liberals, saying someone within the court leaked the draft as part of an inappropriate pressure campaign to sway an outcome. Liberals want to rip the blindfold off Lady Justice. They want to override impartiality with intimidation. They want to elevate mob rule over the rule of law. The leaked opinion indicated there's no constitutional right to abortion services. According to Politico, Justice Alito wrote the majority decision with four other justices voting with him. Three liberal justices were in the minority. It's unclear how Chief Justice Roberts would vote. Justice Alito, responding to the draft opinion, wrote, Roe was egregiously wrong from the start. It must be overruled. It is time to heed the Constitution and return the issue of abortion to the people's elected representatives. Planned Parenthood, in a tweet from earlier today, said that any steps to ban abortion is, quote, outrageous and unprecedented. You'll hear more from one of its attorneys. That's coming up on the KTLA 5 News at 1. That's the latest in the News Center. I'm Kareen Winter, and B and Glenn will send it back to you now in the studio. All right, Kareen, thank you. And Governor Gavin Newsom and other California Democrats are moving to respond to the court's potential decision. Last night, the governor and other legislators announced they will ask voters to amend to the state constitution, further protecting abortion rights in the state. Democrats hold enough seats in the state Senate and Assembly to send the amendment to the November ballot with no GOP support. A search is underway for two men who attacked a signature gatherer. Residents came to help and scared off the suspects. And the whole thing is caught on video. You'll see only on five. And Alina Abovian is joining us now live from Anaheim with the story. Alina? 
Mary, Bla Mary Beth, Glenn, good afternoon. You know, the Sheriff's Department, they're looking into this, and they want you to see this video just in case you recognize either of the guys. But the victim in this case, a 37-year-old man with autism living here in Anaheim, he says over the weekend... He